all the ten f- jokes. fun stuff. It just streams oh, no. over. They're just watching <laughs> us laugh and have a great time, and they're not in on it. <laughs> I forgot how to change my uh, audio source. It's weird. Every time. It's something with audio every time. It's like a different output every fucking time. Something with audio. I don't know, audio. man. I don't know. Audio. Everybody that comes to my streams knows knows this. Let's turn the lights up in here. It's still too. There we go. A little a little uh, brighter. Say, let's turn the light. Let's turn the lights down a little bit. Let's, let's turn get the, this. Uh, now let me. Um, let me. Yeah, I think Killian's good to go too. Oh, there he is. I see him. Just admitted him in. And then. God, I want to admit him into a fucking mental institution. Dude, wow. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting one. What's up, dude? Oh, it screwed up everything. Why did uh, Why does it do this? Oh no! Oh my God! That's okay. We'll be a distraction, Dan. So hey, everyone that's <laughs> well, watching, while Dan fixes, yeah, videos, I have to delete everybody and re-add everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan. Uh, sorry, Dan. It's okay. Hey, uh, Travis Warland just said, "Tell Dan to turn my camera off. You're hella ugly." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So Thanks, people Travis. can still hear us. They I can hear you. Wanna, all right, sweet. I just want to give good. a special shout, shout out to Gutteral Kane 999 for giving me just uh, a, an incredible compliment because I will gladly take credit for a lot of the merch designs we put together. So if you're enjoying the abiotic merch, so, I am the soul. It's all me. No, I'm just kidding. It, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, it's all you? It, it, no, it's a giant collaboration, of course, but... Uh, oh, okay. I Travis to say something really funny there. <laughs> yeah. No, it's mostly John. It's 100% mostly John. No, it's, it's really true. There's actually... We, oh, that's we right. Can't roast him. It's, you can't you're, roast him. He's really doing a lot of things. You were waiting for Travis to say something funny? Dude, you're going to be waiting forever. Forever. Uh, <laughs> we gotcha. But, um, wrong instrument, idiot. You play the bass. This is these are facts. I'm just I'm roasting myself constantly. <laughs> it's a self roast. Are you in it's Florida a, right now? I am. Oh, then oh, that's man. why you're roasting. <laughs> you're in fucking Florida. Oh, you... oh. How's the weather down there? Is it balls hot? It's right beautiful. Now? Uh, yeah, no, I, I can. It's the the heat that I'm feeling is Matt M. Matt Mendez just uh, oh, only it? forty miles away from me. Oh yes. Oh man, are What's you gonna go doing? see him? I, I said it in the message. I mean, but you know how he is, man. He's working. You know. Yeah, he's he's working right he's now. He's a working boy. That, that boy. I told him, nice. I'm like, yo, let's get some, uh, like, a Cubanito cafe, you know, somewhere outside. <laughs> All right, almost ready. Hold on. I can... Holding. Holding. I, I was not the, the linchpin for success. Oh, nope. Man. Unfortunately. <laughs> So let's start off. How long has this record been in the making for? I feel like it's been a little bit. I don't know. When did the band reform? Um. So like twenty. Oh shit. So, eighteen. Uh, eighteen. Yeah. Eighteen. So like, okay. Yeah. So like end of twenty eighteen, I think, because we put out Emerald in. Great did it song. Twenty nineteen or did, came out twenty nineteen. Beginning of very beginning of twenty nineteen. Okay. Yeah, it was 2018 because I texted John and I was like, yo, we should do an abiotic record. And John's like, I don't want to see you, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how it happened. I don't want to um, see you, but sure. <laughs> and I was like working on a couple of like random solo stuff. Like Smoldered is uh, one of the singles was like probably the first song that I started piecing together that ended up being on, on the album and then got as we uh as we have called later uh boned by tony oh. so um that's that's, <laughs> that's usually uh we're sending you know we we write a song we send it to tony and then he makes it good yeah his and he makes it good. so so he takes our compositions and then he bones it and mm. then it makes it way better i see how that works <laughs> that's why he's uh, called tone bone that's tone why i gave bone. him the tone, tone bone <laughs> tony baloney Thanks for thanks again, guys, for letting me bone bone the songs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for boning them. Yeah, you can bone our songs any day of the week, boy. <laughs> so, how long was the writing process for this record? You think? So, I think we did most of it over the last like year and a half, probably. Oh, okay. So we we worked on Emerald, and then right after Emerald, we kind of started like 
hitting it pretty hard. So like I'd say like a year and a half, better part of two years maybe. Oh, okay. So a good amount of time. Took your time on it. So you guys weren't, you obviously weren't rushing on this one. Or I don't know if you have in the past with past records, but this one seems like you guys really, you know, took your time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we... We did with Casistry. It was a little bit more of like a quicker turnaround than um, than this one. Gotcha. This one, yeah, it was just like you know we're gonna put this out like whenever we want to. And um, Tony will tell you a little more about the the process of like how we kind of honed in all the songs over the time. Oh man, that's that's the boning. That's the boning. That is literally the that's tone the... boning <laughs> of the art. So like yeah, they'd uh, just kind of send. Um, like a pre-production demo, just like some ideas, and then yeah. I just kind of sit down and like chop up the different parts of the song, and it, it's just a nice, easy way to be like, what would it sound like if we played this section after this one, and doing trying a bunch of different variations since we couldn't all be in the same room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's rad. Fuck yeah. Well, I have, like I said before, I have not listened to the record today. Um, I only have heard the singles. So this will be my first time hearing it. Um, cool. If everyone didn't know, it did come out today. Well, the record didn't come out today, but the album stream came out today on Decibel Magazine. Um, if you did not hear it, well, you're about to hear it now. So we'll go, we'll play a song and we'll talk about it. A little bit and then we'll go on to the next and we'll go through it like that i think that would be like the best way to go about it nope. okay right. uh, i will say that the first track is yeah. just kind of like uh is it like a intro like intro kind okay. of thing it goes right into the second one so okay i'd yeah. probably just play those play those together yeah, yeah the first two exactly good call. gotcha let's do it let me rewind this if you're not a fan of me, the first song is your favorite song on the album. Dude, it's <laughs> my favorite song. It's oh, there's, the... a, there's also none of me or Tony, so if you hate everything. Yeah, <laughs> there's none of that. Can you guys hear this right now? Yes. Okay. Ah. Can they hear us? That's the big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Well, I mean, I can mute you easily. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that would be for the better. Too bad we can't do that for the record now. It's too late. Damn it. <laughs> right. <laughs> we still have two days. I'm just saying. Wait, what the heck happened? Hold on a second. Why did it change my audio again? What the fuck is this doing? I'm a... Yeah, I know. I don't know why I wasn't coming through there. All right, let's do this again. Sorry, guys. Here we go. I changed an OBS to the right fucking output, and it changed it back. But we're good now. Right? It's always something, dude. It's always something. I did. <laughs> yeah, fuck John. <laughs> Love it. See, that's what I always that's what I always thought. So copy and paste some of these questions and we'll answer some of them after.
transition there. That is a beautiful bass solo. <laughs> such a beautiful ending like I could already tell you guys took your time on this record just from that the intro into that first song did you write that damn yeah <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> oh, who's the flute? Dallas Brown, dude, shout out. What? No one can hear any of that. What the heck? Oh, dude, no. it switched it again. I don't understand why it does that. It's never done this before. Dead ass serious. Uh, dead serious. Uh, so uh, let's, we we'll recap Tony real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, Tony, the drummer, wrote Are we the, back yet? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good, we're good. <laughs> okay. What the heck, man? My apologies, guys. Dead, dead okay. serious. It's never... The output keeps changing. Like when I started playing the, the song, it, the output changed. And then I stopped the song. And then the output changed again. So I guess I'm gonna have to keep going, Dude, switching it back and forth. Don't don't apologize, man. This stuff is like <laughs> Twitch bad. is still Twitch is still like especially music on Twitch is still much more like there are variables and constants that are just always changing. It's just the program. Yeah. But anyway, back to what we were saying. We're talking about the the piano. Tony wrote it all, right? In the orchestra. Yes. Right. That's Tony. That's that is correct. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. And it's uh, it's it's pretty good. It's all right. And, uh, I mean, that's, what that's do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like we were saying, shout out to uh, our buddy Dallas Brown who did the flutes on yes. the intro and on the uh, the second track, the uh, the title track. So um, really cool to to have uh, a yeah, some flute. Yeah, you some, don't some real flutes on there. Yeah, I know because you don't hear. I don't know. You don't really hear. Well some bands i guess but i wouldn't really expect that from abiotic honestly i didn't really yeah, know what to expect more like, a, record. like a folk metal thing I yeah think, I think. definitely a folk metal thing <laughs> but it fits really well um we did right. have, 
we did have a couple questions in the chat we can go at right now. Um, yeah, let's do it. What's the if biggest obs- what's the biggest obscure influence? Uh, uh, for that's me, kind of an oxymoron, right? Like I know. biggest obscure. <laughs> or the obscure <laughs> what's right. the obscure yeah. influence? <laughs> but uh, I get Travis. Go ahead, since you were talking for some reason. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I miss you, fucker. Uh, probably the uh, the wicked play the the wicked soundtrack, like the actual like the the play oh, wicked. That's yeah. probably mine. Okay. Um, I love. Let me you, take you to that special place, that dude, up place. People that do musicals, they have so much fun on stage, and it's like the they purest do. form it's of entertainment. A thousand like, percent accurate, yeah. You don't get a second chance at that. Like you just have to fucking nail it, and yeah, like they grind, like, dude. And as like a vocalist, I'm like, I wish I was that talented at anything I do in my life, like let alone this. So that's probably mine. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go next. Um, yeah. I- I think there's this Polish death metal band called Yattering. They're not active anymore, but uh, their drummer was one of the first drummers that I heard that like just made me like he he totally overplays like every single part, but I fucking love it. And, <laughs> and, and it's not just like straight like double kick and blast for the whole time. He does like a lot uh, of really intricate like ride bell and cymbal work. Yeah. And um, I, I've definitely taken a lot of influence from uh listening to him a lot i'm pretty sure what band was that, that? and uh they're called uh yattering yeah oh interesting name yeah yattering yeah um and that and probably uh kiss from a rose from seal dude nice that track slaps <laughs> it does that, that track officially slaps it'll never best, get it'll never get old <laughs> best song of all time literally <laughs> best song of rules all right john We'll go to so John. that song is the best song in the world, only <laughs> second to this song, which is the biggest influence on this album, and hmm. that is Africa by Toto. <laughs> I thought you were about to rickroll us. <laughs> yeah, no, was, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> I have been rickrolled too many times. Rick Astley. On yeah. stream. <laughs> the Chad of all Chads. Yeah. Ever chatted. And then, like, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of uh, really subtle hip hop influence in like a lot of the melodies on uh, on the album, because I try if we're writing not to listen to metal so I don't rip anybody off, at least on purpose. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so not on purpose. Yeah. So, um, yeah, a lot of the like the melodies old uh, were influenced from some some hip hop stuff. I've been I've been jamming. That's tight. And you, Killian? Um, Last but not least, I, I would say that for this record, um, it's not just because they're my friends and everything, but mm-hmm. for this record, that it would it be my fellow bandmates, and just in the sense oh. that when oh I'm my goodness, no, 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 oh I mean, God. I mean that sincerely because oh. I, what I mean to say, like, I my background's more of as a session musician, so yeah, I like it's very exciting for me artistically to be in the environment with other people providing me a palette artistically of doing that. So it was great with touring and writing with them where they gave me like free reign to do the things I needed to do. So okay, honestly, really like, um, I think that the great thing about it is just that like when I was recording my bass parts for this record, I felt like I was among friends. So it wasn't like, it gave me this pressure off to like, yeah, you weren't like, stressed out i guess right? no no and it, but that's the great thing is that you take creative risks you take stuff like that so honestly this record my performance is all based on the guys here with matthew included and just um that's for awesome. this specific piece of work i would say that they were so like i could uh. cite a bunch of tech <laughs> bass players things but it's honestly just more that I, i'm one of those people that feeds off the energy of the people i'm working with so yeah yeah it's, that's it's right. a these, these losers. These, these fucking losers. These, these, fucking, <laughs> these fucking losers, Ted. That's fucking awesome. Um, do you guys feel, or I guess, I mean, John, are feel you? feel the same? No. <laughs> John, you're original, though, right? I am. I am right? OG, along you're with OG. Matt, who is, who is not Matt. here with us at the moment. Yeah. Do you guys feel like this is the tightest lineup you've had? I know every band says this, but like, yeah, I know. absolutely, like easily. <laughs> I usually believe like, it that when bands say it, especially yeah, when bands have gone through, <laughs> you know, members. 
Yeah. And then you, they come out with this record that's like, whoa, like mind blowing. You're like, whoa. And then they say that or they answer a question like that. I usually believe it. I'm usually yeah, like, no, I could, I could easy. hear it though. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. And, and I think the record speaks for itself in, in that regard. Um, you know, it, it, for sure, our strongest, our strongest album, like hands down. Yeah. Um, I think it, it's super honed in and also like big and epic and and all the things that I think we're missing from the last record because we on purpose made the last record super dry and just like I could tell the difference already because I love yeah. the last record. I listened to that record a lot. Um, Oh, thanks. But yeah. I could tell the difference. This one sounds honestly so much better, though. Yeah, yeah. it sounds Same big. Production. It sounds big. <laughs> yep. Like everything, the guitar tone, bass, vocals, and the drums yeah. sound fucking fantastic. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, yeah. You know, yeah. Um... Uh, that, that little Italian boy right there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's let's hit the second song, and then uh, we'll answer another question. Oh, Check. before we start this yeah. song. Um... Go for this it. was um, since Matt's not here. Mm -hmm. uh, this was his favorite song on the record. This was his. Mattis, oh. Mattis Pottis. Yo, you guys yes. just being some fucking sweeties right now, dude. A lot of sweet boys in here. We gotta be <laughs> sweet to the Mattis Pottis. Mattis Pottis is, is an institution in this band. He sure dude. is. <laughs> and Tony has the sickest vocal part probably on the record in this song. In this so song, I forgot okay. About that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tony's. Tony's <laughs> Tony Taylor Lust Simone. Corey Taylor Lust Simone. Dude, it's so sick. <laughs> awesome. And Tony wrote it. Tony wrote the vocals oh, you there. Just damn, dude. Hell yeah. All There's right, even a beer keg sample. Yeah. What? <laughs> yes. That's, I hope uh, that I'm is. Just I just got a sound yeah. text right there. One second. You go. Okay. We'll wait. We'll wait till he gets back. What no, are the themes play. of this rec record? <laughs> what are the? That was another question. What are the themes of the album? Anime. Let's go. Anime. <laughs> Anime. Um, I, lo I love the art. I mean, it, it just looks great. It catches your eye. You're like, wait, who's that? What is that? Well, I, I love that Ghost of Tsushima uh, game. <laughs> Dude, yeah, right? <laughs> this is sick. Uh, <laughs> but John no, came regardless up with the title. Oh, John no came up okay. with the title. Um, this is all his idea. And the first song is just kind of like, it's about being really depressed. Honestly, it's yeah. about being like, her first rent, song. like act first song, just mm -hmm. being really depressed and not really sure yeah. of kind of like where you are. And it's kind of the perfect start to Icky Guy, which is, you know, finding your reason for being. Mm -hmm. And this next song is kind of a, a, a three part equation that we've got going on here. And uh, it's talking about the story of the, the person on the album cover. Mm -hmm. and kind of his first trip into like being in battle yep. and how it how it affects you and i think that you know we don't think about that you know you hear all these stories about people going to war and this and that and you hear about like ptsd and shell shock but like imagine prior to that like way back then when you had to get face to face and kill somebody you mm -hmm. had to just right up in them and so kind of what did they his his perception of what's happening and you know the the feelings that go along with it cool and so that'll that's right yeah fuck yeah all right let's do it the next song is called covered the cold earth
that's sick. One second, I gotta switch it back again. There you go. Say it again. Yo, I need to give a shout out right now to Joshua Travis, who is in the chat. He is here. And uh, <laughs> Josh, the we fucking played, man. We played one of our first big local shows with uh, with Danza and Dude. Yo, hell yeah, dude. Yes. You're yes. way sick. sick. And yeah. um, Josh actually way back when we dropped the Vermo Sapien video mm -hmm. uh, shared it for us and stuff and oh that's so fucking he's, rad helping he's out, a like, sweetheart out. he's super sweetheart and just I met him, I met him once uh, and he was the sweetest dude he is he just started streaming too on the twitch nice oh, he's a awesome. blast he's he's yeah. fucking awesome go follow Josh Travis go follow you, him you should yes do it. you should do it kid it's wicked sick I don't have to say who the hell, what bands he's in. If you don't know, just go Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, yeah, you should know. You should know. Quick, uh, Josh Travis, just the stuff that you did with Danza, that was incredibly oh, influence, influential on me, uh, you know, back when that shit came out. So Dude. really, uh, really fucking cool to have you listening to this, man. It was um, back in 2010. I was on that Over the Limit tour, and it was As Blood Runs Black. <laughs> Oceano, Burning oh, Masses, wow. Tony oh, Dan, no. Tony Danzo was on it, and that's when I met Josh. Ridiculous. And seeing him, bass tour, every yeah, <laughs> dude, seeing him rip every night was the. But everybody, every time Danzo went up, went on stage, everybody in the tour package the was package, there. Yep. Every <laughs> night, every night. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, Dan, unrelated. Yeah. I love your little Bucky sticker. Thank you. It just it gives me uh, joy. It, 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 <laughs> uh, that, that lady on Netflix would say, "This, uh, this is joy." This is joy. <laughs> so let's talk about that song. Um, 
who wrote the lyrics for it was that so the lyric writing for the record is that all travis nope thank god <laughs> i know <laughs> <laughs> No, there, uh, uh, John wrote a couple songs, believe it or not. I let him. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wrote a couple, uh, worked on uh, some of them with Travis, and then yeah. uh, okay. Tony's verse in that song, though, Tony wrote that verse also. So he, and he yeah, wrote that. There's wrote no that way I could write that. There's no <laughs> way I could write that. <laughs> um, no way. I just but... played dumb guitar, so you have to ask the adults. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to feel you, not hear you. <laughs> like that's fucking great um are you uh we had a couple questions in chat uh are you guys thinking of any uh doing any virtual gigs after the album release tony are we thinking of doing any virtual gigs after the album release <laughs> uh, oh is it up to me to do everything for it? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um, do I have honestly, to do this? <laughs> Put it, get you guys together. I've, uh, I've got this. I've gotten this question on like a couple of other interviews and stuff that I've been doing through the cycle, and it's, it's yeah, really, it's, gonna be, it's a, tough it's a one. bigger undertaking than than people realize. Yeah. Especially if if you're like us, where you know the three of us, uh, myself and Killian and Tony live in Mass, but Travis okay. lives in California, yep. Matt lives in Florida, so we're obviously not doing any traveling, so we can't get together. So. The only way to do that would be to like have everybody track everything at their mm -hmm. house like a quarantine and, video like we've exactly. seen right and then I, yeah i did it w with another artist and it's, it's a bitch it, yeah it has to be bitch. a bitch <laughs> it's the engineering part that somebody has to mix it and master yeah. it and make it sound yeah. actually like a good quality <laughs> exactly yeah that it is a bitch because like, you know i've had like you know a lot of people be like yo can this band do uh be a part of this uh virtual live stream with this band and I'm like, yeah, they probably w would like to do it, but they're all over the fucking place. <laughs> it's like, you know, so it's it's really hard. Like I had that band I Am do it with Crowbar, but that yeah. was easy because they're all in Dallas. Right. Yeah, that so band's fucking sick. Yeah, they're so sick. We'll, Big we'll, shout out to I Am. Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> band's fucking so, hard as shit. Yeah. Oh, Josh said, just saying this material is legit psycho. Congrats! It well, really is, Josh. This, this, we're only on the second song too, dude. <laughs> hey, Josh, drop me, drop me a line so I can send you the record, dude. Yeah, dude. Hit thing. up John. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you, Josh. All right, let's fucking let's move on to the next one. The next song is called Smoldered. I think I pronounced Pete that right. Let's with the wonderful Chaineth Kravitz. Oh, yeah, Chaney's on the Chaney from yeah. Entheos, dude. Fuck yep. yes. Uh, she's she's a sweetheart. Dude, she rules, she's, man. She's so one of the so best. Awesome and, and amazing vocalist, but also like a really person. Great person. Yeah, yeah. Her She's and Naveen, awesome. great yeah. fucking people. Top quality. Ten yes. out of ten. Would recommend. Ten, ten. ten out of ten. Would recommend. Yes. <laughs> and John wrote this song. He John wrote, wrote all the. He wrote the lyrics to the song. Actually, fun little fact. Oh, okay. This Fuck is yeah. this is a this is a John song. This and, is a John uh, song. <laughs> I, ironically. Um, it's about things like catching on fire and everything, hence the term smoldered. And yep. during the time right after we'd finished recording this, California had like just been obliterated oh. by a bunch of fires. Wow. Um, especially near where I live. So John he wrote it, but it definitely like hits home, especially literally, because well, the sky the yeah. sky was orange. Dude, oh, I know. Was fucking orange Joel here. Joel was sending me dude pictures, videos every morning. It was, was ridiculous. Like, the air Jesus, quality was terrible. Man. So this is a, this is a John song. If you like this song, unfortunately, John Matos <laughs> wrote it. <laughs> he's about to have a Never he's ends. about to have a kid though. Oh, that's so, right. Oh, yeah. So buy the fucking record. We need to get that kid some clothes. No. Right. <laughs> we're hungry. I'm, we're hungry. <laughs> do you want a Do you want a beautiful child to starve? If so, buy this record. <laughs> guilt, uh, trip, guilt trip. Guilt trip. Guilt trip. Guilt trip. Right. <laughs> Uh, um, and uh, just throwing this out there, yeah. we do have a music video for this song if you guys end up liking yes. it and want to. Um, and Tony see made what it. It's it amazing. Like. Oh, and Tony, and Tony I, made it. Also, Tony did the music videos. <laughs> We're obviously squeezing him for everything. He's <laughs> everything. <laughs> You're just squeezing <laughs> this guy out, bro. <laughs> Look, I mean, Jesus. that's why I asked you before we got on, like, when when was the last time you slept? Because I know this dude is on the grind constantly. <laughs> yeah, so. he's, he's a grind man. Incredible. Today. Like I said, today. Today. <laughs> today I did. All right, let's get into it. Well, 
Why is it? Hold, oh my god, I screwed it all up again. Oh no! Damn! <laughs> Dude, I'm so, I don't know why this is doing this, but here we are. I'm, I'm a silly goose. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Too good. Solo. <laughs> and then drum solo. <laughs> right after.
that was fucking awesome. Wow. Hell yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah, that, that, was that, ending, is, that Ch- ending is Chaney. Yep. Yeah. No, it's... it's she killed it. <laughs> she's, she's amazing. She's she so really talented. is. She's, she's a goat. She is, dude. She just gets... She continues to get better as a vocalist, too. Sweet human that, that being, too. A very sweet human building being. It's, yeah, she's uh, a sweet what? human building. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't <laughs> fucking talk anymore. Garrett X Gucci, thank the, you for the compliments on the drums and Gucci's, the chat, my man. Gucci's you know, in the chat. Oh, Gucci. Gucci oh. man. Gucci yeah. man Garrett. I I think he should change his name to it. Gucci man Garrett. No, keep <laughs> it Gu- Garrett Gucci. It's fine. I, I my balls dropped. <laughs> um. <laughs> What was I going to say? Uh, we did have another question in chat, kind of off the topic of the record, but are there any new releases you're looking forward to this year? Gojira. Yeah. Whenever it comes out. Yeah. Cannibal Corpse, obviously. A if you're dog. not excited for new Cannibal Corpse, then you can leave. Um, <laughs> what else is coming out? I don't really know. I don't know. I'm what stoked else for a new out. Shadow of Intent. Oh, yeah. I'm stoked to see what they're going to come out with next. Yeah, yeah. That, you know? that last album was, was a fucking super sick. So Yeah, it was a big step up for them. Uh, and man, whenever it's... Josh Travis comes out with the new Glass Cloud record, please. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's heard that enough. <laughs> all the records on Artisan the, Era. Uh, yes, all the records oh, on Artisan Era. New in Demon. theory. Dude, Demon King, and they just put out Demon a new King. song, and it's fucking sick. I have to Yo, listen. To those that. guys are really, those guys are really talented. Hell if yeah. you just want to feel bad about yourself, a musician, go listen to Demon King. <laughs> You're just um, like, oh man. Somebody, somebody asked if the oh yeah, if you see took that. inspiration from Johnny Davy with the the vocal patterns. Yeah, Johnny Davy is probably my favorite vocalist. So yeah, I, uh, when He's I was amazing. writing the lyrics, I was thinking of him in my head for sure <laughs> it's literally awesome. what you told me too sound like Johnny. <laughs> okay that is fucking tight hell yeah all right let's i'm looking forward what, to yeah, the, new, uh, the new um brand of sacrifice record yeah bands pushing the boundaries like, like that's like they're going outside the box i feel like as yeah, far I, as like you know i just love the doom goes. Sa- yeah <laughs> you i love the doom saying? soundtracks so fucking much yeah so are you allowed yeah. to talk about what's happening with that tony mm, probably not okay. <laughs> oh okay uh, you know one, something one could say that band is willing to sacrifice everything in order to get on top yeah <laughs> <laughs> for their for their brand yeah. for their brand <laughs> <laughs> brian <laughs> leave it up to john to do all travis's work for him wow what's new oh, wow brian <laughs> what's new oh no Damn. Yeah, Brian. Love, love you, B. Right, we miss yeah. you. Man. God, <laughs> I saw him a couple <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> yes, you did. Fuck yeah! All right, let's. Or did you have any Killian? What's? Is, are you looking forward to any records this year? Like any speci- uh, one? In the scale, the summit record, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not trying to for, make anything I about myself. For... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, but, Dude, uh, with, who cares? It's sick. Fucking stroke your own dick about it. Scale is something. Oh, record. so it new must... scale, huh? Yes. It's, it's, we should be theoretically, hypothetically, oh, in a quantum world announcing next month. But <laughs> wow. honestly, at this point, at this point, I'm living the moment, man. That's all. That's how you do it. That's how I am. Like, I'm like, don't get me wrong. I'm happy for because of COVID. If you are releasing a fart compilation of you sounding like Donald Duck. <laughs> And you get your vinyls in, and you just do it. I'm like, based fam, yeet, hogs. Yeet. I don't, I don't know what to say anymore. Pogs. It's like, uh, just good for you. Anyone, any uh, band that says uh, fuck COVID and like not COVID, like safety regulations. It's like we're gonna go forward with. Yeah. Life. I'm stoked for all of you. So yeah, that's all I, I gotta say about that. Hell and, yeah. Like, 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 like uh, what's called Forest Cup. That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be this year or next year, but uh the new trapped album I'm hoping is gonna be real sick. So. Dude, I that's really all I'm looking forward to. 
Twice it's, as headstrong. Yeah. Twice as <laughs> chance they, they will take you on. Two head, too strong. <laughs> I wish Trapped was in the chat right now. Usually Trapped Band Official drops in. Dude, okay, and so I don't, honest, he might be asleep. rainbow emojis, right? Yeah, rainbow yes, emojis and like... yes. Tony, Tony's orchestrating it all. It's going to be a 70-minute prog masterpiece. <laughs> they're, they're just trying to hit. Sorry, Tony. I'm, I'm really sorry, dude. I just Yeah, I cat's out of the bag. Yeah, cat's sorry, out of the Tony. bag, everybody. It's a concept album on how hard a head can actually be. Yeah. <laughs> An entire concept on how, how hard and strong a head can be. The answer is... <laughs> surprisingly strong <laughs> you would you would be surprised that's gonna be, you would be surprised <laughs> all right let's hit it let's go what is this song called the wrath yes the wrath. oh oh yeah oh, i love this what, song who wrote this song not travis damn it <laughs> What's Should I new? skip? I'll skip no, to if I. He, uh, <laughs> he, he he did write this song. Uh, I think this is also a, a big like Matt uh, song as well as far as the music big. goes. Awesome! Yes. Fuck um, yeah, Maddie Potty. Maddie yeah, Potty. Matt came over to the studio and we got incredibly stoned and, wrote and this. just cranked out a bunch of sh a bunch of shit and it ah. was it was a good time. That's what's up. I love that. This was pre quarantine. And yes. then this is this is the Batman melody song too, right? That we yeah. came up with. So you and I worked yep. on this song some too, separately. Yeah, everyone That's got awesome. a little bit of the a little bit a little bit of the tip in it. Yeah. I, I love Batman. I love this fucking song. Batman. Like, what a... <laughs> Batman. All right, <laughs> let's check it out. Here we go. Check, 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 check. <laughs> Reminded me of some Tony Danza right there. I was just about to say. Oh, yeah. 
Holy shit. Solid transition right there. <laughs> we ain't done yet. Holy shit. Sound, it still sounds like abotic, but like, uh, yeah, just a million times fucking better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's insane, like how. Thanks. Well, thank you. It's oh God, there goes my mic. Travis, uh, tell tell people what that song is about, because that one is yeah, probably please. one of the more like in depth lyrically. I don't even know what this is about, so I really want to hear this answer. <laughs> uh, so I'm from Northern California, so I grew up. Uh, kind of in a central hub of literally every type of human being you could imagine. Yeah. And obviously San Francisco has a very big LGBTQ plus community mm -hmm. and like, it's always been like readily available. I could say, you know, I've always had people like that in my lives, in my life. And, um, you know, uh, kind of getting older and understanding that, you know, that discrimination that people that are gay, lesbian, bisexual, trans, pan, mm -hmm. non-binary, whatever you, it is that you identify as, they go through a whole lot more than people think. And you had people like myself who, you know, claims to be an ally, um, not acting like it and not um, seeing that there's little nuances that people do and jokes that people say. And so yep. this song was a kind of a big thing for me to be like, all right, I know I've been really not on the right side of things for a long time, but I'm an adult now. I'm starting to understand, like, I want to try and, you know, do the best I can to make sure that, you know, people, and especially with metal, you know, if you're gay, lesbian, trans, you know, like yeah. I said, you can come here and you're not discriminated against, you know, just because you, you know, are six feet tall, six foot two, and you're like, oh, I realize that I'm a woman. Like, that's who I am. Fuck yeah. Then you're a woman. Come to a metal show. Come hang out and you know, listen to death metal with us. Like, that's all we care about. We don't want people to feel ashamed of who they are. And nope. I hope that there's somebody who listens to the song that feels like, man, like, you know, somebody gets me. Like, I'm not alone. And that's what the, that entire song is about. And if it drives people away, good. We don't need them. We don't want them. No. Uh, don't be an asshole. It's a really simple concept. Literally. <laughs> it's a very simple concept. I love that. That's awesome. Uh, from a musical perspective, what I love about this song is that so what's great about Travis is that um, he can do both like traditional death metal vocals, but he can do a lot of black metal stuff. So um, while I'm the prog uh, outsider in the band, I was a big Demo Board Gear fan growing up. Yeah. So this song is kind of like we did a Demo song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You can yeah, tell. And, but also like. He, he um, which is a strength to Travis, is that he can do the gutturals and the really dark yeah, he can. Uh, vocals, but he can also do like the black metal stuff that I, mm -hmm. well, in that way. So it's a kind of like, which makes me really happy because it's kind of like Shagrath. 
saying you about really like good wholesome things <laughs> so like I, I, i'm just I'm like i'm like i'm hearing like shagrath being like this is a good message dude but yeah. the riff slaps so I'm like, exactly. that's fucking rad I also just pre-ordered it because that's incredible. Oh, oh, like, oh you're the man. <laughs> I got one of the vinyl. Nice. Bro, the Chanu variant. So you got all three? Oh yeah. I got all three, yeah. dude. I'm they all do. They all look sick as fuck. By the way, those variants are fucking. Shout awesome. out to Malcolm and Mike for just running an awesome support yeah. artisan yeah. era. Dude, thank, you, that label. thank you, the Artisan Era, for making uh, this possible. Yeah, yeah. It's not, if, uh, I can say this: it's not because we're signed to them, but the professionalism on that label is un, like almost eerily rare. Yeah, dude, um, and yeah, fantastic man. bread too. Artisan bread, amazing. <laughs> Everything about it is just like it's God great fucking it, bread. <laughs> God damn it. Um, dude, no, Jake's definitely. So yeah, no, dude. <laughs> it's it's uh, come awesome a long to way too. People. Yeah. yeah, and it's awesome you to know? work with people they're, who are they're good in dudes. The band, so they're good they, dudes. They know yeah. what's up, you know. They do. You know, they they, they just have made get it. our lives more stress free and stressful. Which anyone who's ever been signed to a label realizes how like fair okay. that is. Huh. Yeah, dude. Like, no, that that shouldn't be the case. But like, it's not because yeah. we're signed to them. We would be silent if they sucked. It would just. They've been really, honestly, like homies and like very transparent and awesome with us. Yeah, how, yeah, very uh, how, how very it should be. Very personable as yeah. well. They yeah, are. I talked to Malcolm nice today people. on the phone. We caught up. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, man, I'm stoked. We bring we bring them hey, much joy. Yes. So we bring them great joy. <laughs> we bring them great, great joy. Pleasure, great pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> pleasure. That's what it is. <laughs> Our rooms are organized. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, let's hit the next one. It's called If yeah. I Do Die. This one's got um, uh, Brandon yeah. Ellis from uh, Black Oh, Dahlia. Black Dahlia Murder, right? Mm-hmm. Dude, Book, yeah. and, um, Such good literally features. Literally, this one's about um, yeah. uh, meth drugs. addiction, right? Yep, it's about doing uh, heroin and meth and being addicted to opiates and the unfortunate side effects that go along with being addicted to drugs. And mm-hmm. addiction is an unbelievably real thing. Yes. And nobody chooses to be addicted. And... I hope that more metal bands, specifically metal bands, can get into writing lyrics about things that are actually like important. To you know, talk, just every yeah. so every so often, so that way, you know, the younger generation that listens to metal has something to grab onto. Which yeah, I, mean, I love listening to you know Cannibal Corpse all day long. But, For sure, but when it you has know, you gotta, some sort of meaning, you got to strike a chord. Something corpse, real. You can only come blood so many times. <laughs> I, I, I can, can confirm. Thank you, can Tony. Confirm. <laughs> Ch- <laughs> challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Uh, Damn, I'm trying. Oh, my God. That is fucking good. Let's awesome. go. Let's go. The solo is so sick. I'm, it's so sick. Dude, yeah, it's, it's so it's, good. It's. it's Incredible. Jeez. 
Nailed it. Yeah. Breakdown time, kids! <laughs> the second solo that second lead part was that that's matt that was matt awesome matt is matt is potter <laughs> Matus, Matus, Matus. <laughs> yeah that that's one of my favorite yeah. endings he had that so he ends a solo and goes into like this cool tapping thing he just had this yep. tapping idea and uh he was at my house and we worked on the record uh together for like a month or two he came over Oh, and wow. um, we put that breakdown over the uh, the tapping shit and it just worked out so perfectly. And then Tony coming in with the cool fucking choir shit. It was just like yeah, one that, of the sickest endings. Dude, and he, Brandon's part, his solo, unfucking believable. That dude oh, reps, oh, man. You can't even... Monstrous. Everything he writes is gold. <laughs> that, bi that vibrato, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, that was awesome. It's nice to be talented. <laughs> Carrot said, who gave you guys the audacity to go that hard on this record? <laughs> it was Dang. the open source audio program audacity. That, that <laughs> us. That's great. Scrub said, not only is the instrumental on the on point, but the mix sounds full, super powerful. It really does. Thank you, it my man. It sounds extremely powerful. Good job, Mr. Baloney. Thank you. Oh, there's. You're right. Trapped is the best band, though. Yes. I wasp. I wasp. Timed out. <laughs> we, will, we, will, we will never be able to top Pet Strong. Yep. I don't think any band could. No, I, I accept What's that. that. No matter what I do from here till my grave, <laughs> I will never be able to take on people. Anyone. 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 <laughs> that's anyone. That's still open. Like, I, I can't say that. So, all right. Oh, that's fucking funny. All right, let's hit the next one. Souvenir of Skin. What's this one about? My so mother. This one has Trevor on it. Oh, the homie. Help, dude. The features on this record. Unbelievable. Oh. Trevor from the Black Dahlia Murder. All right. Yeah, and then Travis, oh. as Travis said, it's about his mom. So he, I, I definitely didn't write this one. Or did I? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Just kidding. Jesus. Wrecked. Awesome. Let's get it. I've heard this song way what? too many times, so I'm going to take this opportunity to dip out for a second. I'll be back. <laughs> That's fine. Go take a this piss. Get something to drink. <laughs> I, I, I'm not dipping out. I'm just going to the bathroom. So, like, I'm piss not your pants, anything. Killian. Be a man. <laughs> piss yeah, your it. pants, bro. Grab a water bottle like you're on tour <laughs> and go in the corner. In and my pee dad's in. <laughs> office here in Florida, I'd be like, Dad, I needed to pee on the floor. <laughs> 
All right, here we Two go. Minutes. Yeah, yeah, go, go, for for it. It, go Yeah. <laughs> Garrett, piss your pants. <laughs> Up a trev.
like this ending. <clears throat> God damn. That was, that was, that song was so sick. GD, <laughs> baby. GD. <laughs> fucking yeah, Trevor. Yeah, fucking, yeah, Trevor. Getting Trevor on a song is like huge bucket yeah. list shit, man. Oh, yeah. Insane. Dude. He's the fucking man. What? <laughs> what did? Why did homie get bitch slapped in this music video? <laughs> yeah, that me right now. yeah, I was like, <laughs> that's why I was like, hold on, John. <laughs> <laughs> what? So fucking uh, funny. Did I see? Don did... does vocal plays. I'm not much goes to see him. Be more Cthulhu versus Godzilla. That's sick. Cthulhu's tight. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Gotta, yeah. Um, but uh but dan yeah you gotta watch the video can i not um, see this video maybe you didn't because there's there's like a tony animated all of it there's like a character so like right when this drop happens yeah there's a character that just slaps the shit out of this other maybe guy. i just I, oh <laughs> wait hold on what what was that song we just listened to uh souvenir, souvenir? skin mm -hmm. i feel like i saw the video but i i definitely missed that part that was when you thought we were 10 million times worse than we are now, so you probably didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, I watched this one, but I definitely need to rewatch it again to see I, that I part. Say, I, I, there I, is a lot that happens. Yeah. So, it, it, to be fair. It's one of those videos sense. you got to watch a few times. Well, I hate to say to be it a all. Debbie Downer from SNL about it, but the song is about child abuse, so like... Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that's yeah. Why yeah, that's why someone gets smacked to fonts. Makes sense now. Yep. <laughs> it makes a little bit of sense. A little bit sure. of sense. Killian yeah, killed the mood, single. as always. <laughs> Love it. I don't know who this but that, that song is definitely Trevor makes it. It's insane. Like unreal. He's yeah. He always you always know when it's Trevor too. Like you hear his scream and you're like, oh it's Trevor. Like right away. He has such a distinct uh, voice. And genuine. He, when yeah, he sings he is, the parts, dude. it's like you can tell that he sings that with conviction. It's not just like, oh, I'm singing over a part. Like he's actually putting his heart and soul into that. Yeah, no, you definitely can tell. All right, let's check out Her Opus Mangled. What's this one about? Global warming and the way that we are ruining the planet. I like and imagining uh, imagining mother nature as like a an actual sentient being yeah, yeah. um i have one note before we start um, yeah go for so, it multiple so, notes in this so song. so no um <laughs> the shout out to jared from arts fire oh this um, one's with jared he, yeah so here's nice. what's awesome about this is that um yeah how did like that work listen? out well he's awesome um well, I yes. knew Jared <laughs> for a while mm -hmm. and uh i know the the other guys had known him for a while but what ended up happening was that through mis miscommunication either on our side or their side um we had made it that his bass solo he interpreted his bass solo would be the entire time oh of the bass solo section oh. so my thing was that because jared's such an amazing tech bass player yes. i'm doing i'm doing all the fretless part in that but okay. when we were recording it, this is where it gets funny that all of a sudden, like, John goes, like, fuck, I got the file. He did through the whole part. <laughs> and so John goes, like, all right, let's cut in half and see if it works. If not, we'll ask him. But we'd already paid him. And it was like one of the things, like, it's like all right, we got to see if this works. Yeah, but yeah. The great thing about it is that where his solo starts mm -hmm. is half of his solo. But it's the second half, be, and it works so perfect. <laughs> but the thing is, he's such a he's such an amazing bass player that he understood the cadence of like measures and when to start. I got you. That his solo sounds like that's when he was starting. Yeah. But wow. literally, he had written much more. But I mean, that's why he's an artist. It was one of those cool uh, ha happy ac happy accident <laughs> moments. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's what it sounds like. It's wild. Yeah. Killian yeah. did have to unfortunately ask the bear when he oh, oh, oh. Cool. Uh, and then they were what? just like yeah what do you your what? audio just it cut like... out a little bit what was that oh oh my my internet connection is unstable it's perfect so, <laughs> like, um <laughs> no killian just had to ask him really quick he was just like <laughs> do you want to be a solo? <laughs> 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 
Yeah, but That's how you shout, speak out, to <laughs> shout out to Jared and the Arch Car guys. They're all sweethearts. Yeah, they're, they're all the fucking shit, them. dude. But you have to talk to them in 300 BPM, otherwise they don't understand. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they won't understand what you're saying to them. I text, I text them really fast. Yeah, it's real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make sure the text is sent 300 BPM. <laughs> right, let's hit it. Oh, Canada. <laughs> yes, to the Canadian people. And may they live long prosper. <laughs> yes. Hello. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Trapped is here. Oh shit, he is. Ooh, it's beautiful. Pastor Jared. Play it, Travis. You got it. Show us how it's done. Such a sick transition right there.
incredible song again. Ooh, that mean, song gives yeah. me goosebumps every time, dude. Yeah, like that transition into that like breakdown part, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> that, our, our one I mean, slam on the record. The one slam. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. So there are multiple. There are multiple slams. Yeah. That's like a more traditional one. That's a more traditional one. Like a slam sure. with a capital S. Yes. Every time that part exactly. plays, Sanjay Kumar wakes up for if he just he just like. <laughs> Shout. Yeah, the cardiactomy is stoked right now. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> that was a go biotic song. A go biotic <laughs> song. That was that was definitely fucking sick right there. Who was like the writer? Who wrote that one? Who's behind so, that one? A lot of those, uh, like as far as the music goes, like yeah, a music. Big chunk of the riffs that I wrote that I actually just wrote for a, a demo for uh, that Tony and I were doing. Uh, okay. For, for uh, Kemper. For Kemper. And, oh. Um, so we had like two or three riffs that we just put together in the studio. Gotcha. One of them that we wrote together. Yeah. And I wrote like the intro, that clean intro, and I was like, Tony, I have this idea for this clean intro. Mm-hmm. Here it is. Bone this and <laughs> kind of. Uh, <laughs> Tone bone it. <laughs> Tone bone it. The rest and of by, the song got boned. <laughs> got boned. And by bone, apparently this time it was just make it sound like Gojira. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. I hear it. Da- I knew we wanted to do like the, the um, you know, the back and forth bass solo with, with him and, and Jared or Kim and Jared. So yeah. yeah. I mean, that was beautiful too. Thank you, man. That means I mean, blood. it stands out so much too. And it's... I wanted I wanted to do something um, very uh, so like because Jared has such a distinct style and he's such a wonderful bass player, and a lot of people wanted the you know death metal stuff and I've been playing fretless since I was fourteen. Yeah. And he has such a distinct style. I go like, I didn't want it to just be the same thing. So I wanted to give something completely different what Derek, Jared was doing, and it's great because it sounds like two people giving their voices over that and it yeah it does really great um you know i have my fretless voice he he has his amazing his tapping phrasing is so unique and it distinguishable distinguishable immediately and um mm-hmm. it was great again serendipity that everything worked out perfectly and uh, yeah uh, we're I, at least that song bass perspective i'm very happy and then that end riff always just makes you feel like i need to Oh yeah. Walk out of my car and punch a, a person. In <laughs> I, I had nothing to do with it, but every time that end comes, I'm just like, I need to just get out of traffic and just fight a stranger. <laughs> like, sir, what are you doing? They're like, it's not me. I'm not a. I'm not a. a it's not me, player. dude. <laughs> I just need to pull you out of this car and just fight you. The rift compels me. The rift compels me. This was a funny comment in the chat. Don, Don said, yeah, this drummer made sure no one is ever making a drum cover of this album. <laughs> that is damn right. <laughs> damn straight. He I said, made three, I've made three albums with Tony, and he's yeah. that good. That he's like, yeah, people would be. No one's going to do this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no one's going to want to. Like, fuck me. The song is very much open to interpretation, though. So yeah. if you want to make like a nice jazzed up version. Where you just kind of do what you want, by all means. Wow. That'd be cool. That'd be rad it's to see from drummers. Yeah, it's, it's, it's free real estate. estate. There you go. <laughs> that would be awesome to see. Any drummers in here, do it. We dare you. <laughs> we had somebody send us a cover of one of the songs already, actually. What the? Yeah, fuck? yeah, yeah, on, yeah uh, Instagram. Yeah, on really? Instagram. Really? Well, pretty dope. On drums? Or yeah, it was uh, yeah. the the last single we put out, Grief Eater, Tear Drinker, Heat. And so yeah, wow. he, did, he did a pretty good job. That's and fucking at, badass. At Steph Beachy, the album, I, I believe there's two more songs left? Uh, three more. Three, three more. We got three I more. Know how many songs are in here? <laughs> <laughs> we got three more. Let's... Hell yeah, you got the Honda Accord. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it was it called originally? <laughs> well, there's no, two. No, this comment. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh, I thought it was like. What? There's two C's at a chord, but that's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Only fight. Oh, my God. You'll let that slide. You'll let that slide. I'll let it slide. This, this motherfucker has so many Twitch accounts, I cannot keep track of them. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into this song. Hor- I don't know how to pronounce that first word. Horodric Cube. It's a Di- oh, no. uh, Diablo reference. Oh, yep. that's fucking And uh, Scott from Fallujah's on this song. He's Jesus. Killer, killer solo. Literally. Yes, for the you, dude, you guys this got was... the best 
Futures. It, what was yeah, that? We t- played the song live too. Yeah. Oh no shit. Okay. On the yeah, Suffo this, tour. Suffo. I think this was the first like song that we quote unquote finished for this record. Yeah. It was. Um, it was. Yeah. It so was. yeah, we played it. Um, I think like second to last on the Suffo tour. Oh, okay, that's tight. Oh, before we get into it, that's a good question. Will they release instrumentals? Are you gonna? You think um, you may? That's not a bad idea. I don't, I don't think know. people ask for them. Maybe. Yeah, I've been seeing like more. I mean, not like too many bands, but that that being a thing more and more. Yeah, I think which is kind of cool. With Travis in them, should probably do it. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think the day after this comes out, you should just release the instrumental version right away. The instrumental is going to actually be the official release. <laughs> oh, you told Travis. God damn it. Oh, you're, oh, fuck. I, mute, I muted you. Don't worry. All right, good. To Travis. Right. Everyone I'll, else I'll, heard I'll you. I'll say this. I, I muted, um, it, it won't be like very, very soon, but I'm at least doing a couple of bass playthroughs. You so should. Hell yeah. So um, that we're going to be you know, promoting through Dark Glass and the Artist Nera. Good shit. I know that Matt and John will probably do something similar. So definitely at least should. we'll have some like technical More. playthroughs and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you definitely should do that. I feel like a lot of people would appreciate that. All right, let's get into it. Let's check it out. Yeah. I miss this song. Ooh. I like this already. <laughs> Thank you for that extra (laughs) input. That's what they paid me the big bucks for. The big bucks.
God damn. That was that was that was fantastic. Thanks, man. That means a lot. That, that's a great fucking song right there, and Scott's part too, man. Scott. Thanks, Scott. Is Scott. Good, Big shout out to Matt for actually learning that solo and playing it every night on tour. Cause that shit yeah, he did. He oh, did. that's great. Yeah, he fucking nailed it too. Dude, like, at Matt first is, he was like, I don't Matt think this is gonna happen. Really? But, yeah, he pulled yeah. through, man. Wow. Dude, Matt's a great guitarist. He really is. He really is, dude. Like, <laughs> I would be surprised if he couldn't pull that off. He has a, that, he, you know? He also has a wonderful uh, power stance on stage. Like, he has, like, a, like a, he doesn't move a lot, but, like, just he just has a solid stance on stage. He's just got, like, his legs are perfectly spread apart, and he yeah. does his parts. He's just a, he's just a fucking workhorse. That's all he can say. There's the, there's the, there's the stance right there. something like this. It's... <laughs> But it's like way more elegant than mine. I look like I'm taking a shit. He just he looks at, yes, he so looks elegant. Just like this. He's just yeah. like. <laughs> Matt looks more hey, elegant. Which is Matt, Matt is yeah. more elegant than I am. Oh, That's my. ten years of of planning ourselves on stage and trying to play all of these parts. Yep, literally. <laughs> and, and my power Lots. stance is just being really sweaty on a stool and flailing about and looking like I'm really panicked and don't know where I am. That's my power stance. Travis licks, licks me on stage. Nervous the whole time. Yep. Nervous Travis is going to come give him a kiss like he does. Yeah, the yeah he, he will do that. He oh, no, will. I get, I get you, guys are, you guys are special. I get licked. I get, I go oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, I bro. straight up licked Killian. I tasted every like oh, little bit of sweat. The saltiness. <laughs> Brought, oh, brought, so Brian said, ask Travis to change his sweater. We don't need that kind of negativity in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's uh, Rosie. Brian, Where Brian you going? let me just be pain and peace. <laughs> he's got one other one. He's got Please. a cognitive one that I'm surprised he's not wearing. So. <laughs> well, I was originally going to do this on my bed, but that's been worn outside. Oh. And I don't wear outside clothes in the bed. And then John called me out for being on the bed. So here I am. <laughs> I'm gonna do something totally different today. <laughs> nice. All right, All right so maybe maybe for this next one. So obviously uh, the next yeah. song has a guest spot on it. Um, it's Jonathan Carpenter. He did vocals for the Contortionist. Because That's right. Let's, yes. Let's this not is. Tell Kit, let's not tell Defonce what's different about this. Song. Oh, okay. Let, let, let's, let's just go into it. All right, I'm down. Here we go. Oh, yeah. you don't know. Uh, oh yes. <laughs> oh, you don't know. <laughs> oh yas, yas. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, motherfucker! <laughs> that was <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Such, it's so good. It fits perfectly too.
squirty! Oh, John's part? Jesus. Jonathan's part. <laughs> John fucking Matos. <laughs> that, dude, tasty. I did not expect that at all. No way. That, yeah. Good. That yeah, was, yeah. Um, that, that, that was makes you so happy. Yeah. So you, big, big fun fact on that song. Tony wrote the entire song. As far as the music goes. What? Everything. Yeah. Who are so, you, man? Um, I worked on <laughs> autism personified. Blue Puzzle Beast Gang! Blue Puzzle Beast Gang! Um, I worked on the, the lyrics with Travis. Mm -hmm. uh, the song has a pretty cool, like, uh, lyrical theme, so it's... Um, it's kind of based off of that, uh, that Stephen King um, thing, but mm -hmm. it's um, like a personified monster of like what happens when you take on um, when you when you when you're an empathetic person when you take on uh, other people's uh, you know suffering and and um, you know mm -hmm. shit that they're going through and how that can eventually take its toll on you and and become a burden in itself. Wow, oh, that's cool, man. Does this record is. Fucking awesome Personally, that, too, this man. is my favorite is... Uh, song on the record, just because like uh, I'm more of the product school guy, and I just yeah, <laughs> I love the composition and everything, and just like it was a combination of all the new and old elements. And John, just when I heard the clean vocals, I'm just like yes. that. Yes, please more. But but because like but it, but it just it didn't detract from the dirty. It just no added. no no it just added. And someone even yeah. commented in in the chat saying getting cynic vibes. Yeah, exactly. Right yeah, there. Uh, there That's, you go. Um, a big reason why we wanted uh, John to do the vocals for that part is he's oh, he's got that, that that cynic feel. He does, man. Incredible. So we're gonna be going on to the last song of the record. Oh, we, before that, we have <laughs> good old Alex Kendrick is in the chat. So nice. He says, oh, "So like, boy. when when are John and Travis going to argue?" We missed it, man. <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> Baby dude. Al, you mi you missed it, fam. We miss you, dude. Dude, I oh miss God, Alex. I miss, I miss Baby Al. Baby Al, I'm gonna start calling you that, Alex. Baby that Al. That was his. That was his nickname before Kendrick, because really? he came on tour. He came on tour with us, and he was like barely 18, probably. Wow. So, and then also we had our bass player in the band. His name was Alex. So Alex was regular Alex, and you know, <laughs> yeah, baby, baby Al, Al. obviously. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Was that then he started doing? Then he started doing cool shit and touring with like real bands. I and know. He, and he became a, a man. I remember when, <laughs> what, before I went on, I, I TM that the first half of that Devastation on the Nation tour, Cryptopsy, and EJ Shannon was like, "Yeah, Alex, man, you're pro you'll you'll get along with them, but he's something. So be ready, <laughs> be ready to party." And I remember we bought a bottle of vodka at um, uh, at Maryland Death Fest, and he I probably had like two drinks. And then, like, you know, my regular vodka sodas. And this fool, I come back on the bus. I'm like, yo, where's the bottle at? He's like, oh, I finished that. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck do you mean, dude? Like, and he's already drinking. I think he started drinking, like, whiskey right after. I'm like, what the fuck is... I, I think I texted EJ. I'm like, this motherfucker, dude. It's only been, like, four days. <laughs> that's, when, that's when Uncle Al shows up. Yeah, man. Uncle Al. Yes. <laughs> Baby Uncle Al. Baby Uncle Al. <laughs> What's up, Mike Minocker from la the last ten seconds of life? Oh, what's up? Oh, yo, yeah, what up, yeah. Minocker. No, Minocker. All right, let's get into it. This is the last song of the record. I don't know how to pronounce it. One of you guys pronounce it for me. Gyokusai. 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 Gyok. Oh, I like that. All right, let's do it. Oh, Rosie rolls around in the background.
fucking rip. Oh, <laughs> That was a, that's a great song to end that record. That was a great song to end the record. Thank you. Thanks, man. That's yeah, I'm I'm, I'm so happy with how strong that song is because I know a lot of albums that like will kind of peak and then the last songs are like kind of weaker and I feel yeah. like that song is still so fucking strong. Yeah, it really is. We had a lot of conversations on track listing order and uh, it was worth the effort because I think that we don't have a lull point in the record. Whether you like the record or not. Yeah. But if you like the record. I feel like we aren't like there's not a couple of songs like skip 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 or anything. Yeah, like, no, there like, there really isn't though. Pretty. Like a every... special little little fun fact about the very the very end there. That's actually um <laughs> yeah what... every, every single uh... vocal line on the record um like uh -huh. overlapped on top of each other. I just kind of went through and like whispered them all in weird ways into a microphone. Oh, but the wow. last the last thing that you hear is. Um, uh, the way it like kind of lines up is I finally found my reason for being and then yeah one of the lines from an earlier song is um, 
and it's nothing you want. Oh, wow. Sick. Oh, shit. Yeah. So that's awesome. Tony, Tony adding that little nice nihilistic touch at the yeah. end. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, thought uh, it was a happy ending. But you no thought one. it was. <laughs> the, song, uh, <laughs> the song starts with, um, I found my reason for being, but it's too late. And we had um, we had the artist write that on like um, on a parchment on the cover of the album. So if yeah. you're looking at the cover, if you look at the parchment that's laid down right in front of uh, our guy's knees on the cover, that's what's oh, on there. Oh, it's right. Okay. And, and the way that that whole idea I think started with Tony uh, at yeah at the end of the the album, kind of doing all of that. Um, we had initially oh, wow. just wanted it to end with like Travis doing a speaking part of like, you know, I've found my reason for being, but it's too late kind of saying it again. Yep. <laughs> and, and it got sent to me and I was like, <laughs> all right, I can't listen to Travis's voice. So we got to do something <laughs> else. <laughs> we got to do something else. Can confirm. Can confirm. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to oh take, it out. <laughs> take, take it, it out. Oh my God. I don't want to take it out, but you know. Please take it out. And uh, lyrically, the, lyrically, that song has like a bit bits and pieces of every other song in it. Yeah. So it all right. kind of comes back to that's the our our grand ending. Our uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Your main crescendo. Of our crescendo of the album. <laughs> my that's... my mangled my mangled opus. That's right. It's we. Mangled. This has been really awesome to do with you guys. This. You know, it's funny, like this all, like it was when Bryce was in town, uh, Lucian, uh, was that like a week ago, Travis, I asked you, right? Yeah, because yeah, you, Bryce, and We Brian were drinking, now. yeah, it was me, Bryce, Brian, and uh, Justin, who was the original guitarist of um, Bryce's band, Seeker, and we were, you know, um, Bryce came down, and um, we all haven't seen each other in a while, like Bryce and Justin haven't seen each other in like a long time, uh, so anyway, we're at like the bar, just having some drinks and uh yeah it just like i don't even know how it got brought up i think brian might have said something i don't even know but it just like what was it i was talking to brian i was talking talking to brian Brian. and then he's just like oh i'm gonna go see defonce and bryce and i was like tell them i say hello and lo and behold look who texted me yeah (laughs) i don't know like the idea like popped in my head i'm like i haven't i've never done anything like this with um my twitch right so i was just like it's too like an Let's do like a listening party. <laughs> yeah, this well, was, let's no, get you guys you. on. It'll cool. be fucking Super fun, sick. man. So it lined up really... perfect because I was thinking like, how do we do something to something else? You know, some kind of listening party is like, what what should we do? And, and yeah, yeah, it's kind of this is yeah, so. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, we got dope. a few people that bought yeah, the record, you. including myself. And Garrett Gucci bought yeah, two fucking copies. Garrett, <laughs> what a stuff is gonna get one if you guys have not pre-ordered it yet, and. uh you liked what you hear please buy it the link is in chat <laughs> i will post it again um hashtag lettuce hashtag lettuce, hashtag lettuce. it was, was kind of cool to hear it through like two layers of compressed audio streaming yeah. as well because it sounds <laughs> totally different than what i was used to yeah. it, still, it still works though which yeah, is yeah. nice i was like, it's I was like, like <laughs> if anything the drums are louder i'm i'm cool with the that drums, yeah. yeah no i was gonna say like i didn't want to say it but like the bass actually stuck out a little more so i'm like i'm, oh, I'm, out I'm okay with this. we should <laughs> run it through um instead of mastering we'll just run it through a twitch stream next time yeah that's all there you go. <laughs> and then record it <laughs> Yeah, Brian said. Ten out of ten. Oh, yeah. Ten out of ten would recommend. Yes, Brian said he's gonna buy a copy. Two hundred percent will buy a copy. That's what fuck I like yeah, to fuck in here, bro. Thanks, Brian. That means you're buying two hundred of them. Right? Yeah, so two hundred <laughs> copies. You mean? Two <laughs> hundredths of a percent of a yes. copy. Yes. <laughs> well, guys, this has been fucking awesome. Um, Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah man. Thank you for man. wanting to do this. I mean, this has been fucking a ton of fun. The record seriously is incredible. It's definitely 100% the band's best work to date. This absolutely Thank you, kills. Man. Thank you. Kills anything you've done before, and it's but that that's awesome. I mean, you sometimes you don't you know some bands can't top their last records. You know. Hey, yeah, right. not, not everyone can not be everyone. headstrong. But, yeah. <laughs> right? Not everyone can exactly. take everyone on. Yes, yeah. exactly, <laughs> dude. Well, so, look at um, this. Look who started streaming. Scott from Fallujah. Oh, oh fuck. Shit. So we should go raid him. Um, 
to anyone that yeah. doesn't know you guys if you guys don't know what rating means in Twitch, I know a couple of you might know. We're just gonna know. bring we're gonna bring everybody from our stream right now and we're gonna dump them into Scott's stream. Yes, I'm down. So we should I, do I, that. I see, will he see us or it's just yeah. like the, the chat? Well he'll see the chat. So if you have a Twitch okay, you can comment in there or whatever, but I'll I'll tell him that I just had you guys on here. Cool. Be so yeah, play yeah. ass. Let me bring it. Let me get his channel. He's up. a heckin' He's a heckin' good boy, dude. He's a heckin' so, good boy, dude. He fucking. So Defonce, he's, that, yeah, we got a minute. That means that means a uh, abiotic in 2027 when tours come back for <laughs> devastation. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm down, dude. No, we'll get it. We'll, we'll make it happen. I'm hoping um, I can do the same lineup that I had. Uh, dude, for you were bringing Borkigar. I know dude. they reconfirmed so. I'm just what? waiting. Dude, I'm waiting please, on Wolfhard and Imperial please. Triumphant. Please. Ooh. 2022, hopefully, boys. 2022. May 2022. Or April, May. Sorry. Yes. Hoping. And then just shout out to Josh Travis. Yes. Again. Big shout out to Josh Travis. Again, Thank you, Josh. go follow him if you haven't yet. He's been streaming. His streams are a ton of fun. Josh is just hilarious and the best fucking guitarist. So you should go fucking follow him. All right, we're gonna bring let's let's go raid Scott from Fallujah. Um, if you don't know who he is, I don't know what to tell you, but you're about yeah, to. Yeah, you don't know who he is. Yeah, you you're there? about to see who he is because that's what he does on stream. He shreds. Hell yeah, Catsy, go Canadians. Yes. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much. Um, if you're new here, just go below. You can see my about section, see what the channel is about, and I hope to see you at a future stream. And then go buy the new Abotic record. Yes. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, right. you. Thanks, everybody. Hey. Thank you guys. It's been a fucking Peace. blast. Later, yes. guys. Let's go raid them. And yes. Then... Hell yeah. Here we go. Uh, Did it work? Did it work? Come on. There we go. Yeah, I'm seeing Scott. Fuck yeah.